Hi guys, and welcome back to the Oracle Data Guard course. This is gonna be a short lecture, and I will talk in it about managing snapshot standby databases in Oracle Data Guard. In this lecture, you will learn how to do the following. Describe the snapshot standby databases and their benefits. Convert a physical standby database into a snapshot standby database. Use a snapshot standby database and convert a snapshot standby back to a physical standby database. A snapshot standby database is a physical standby database that is opened for read-write operations. Users can connect to the snapshot standby database and perform any read-write operations on it as if they would be connecting to a normal database. While the standby database is opened for read-write operations, the redo will be transmitted from the primary database and received by the standby database, but it will not be applied. The snapshot standby database itself cannot be a target of a switchover or failover. If you want to switch over or fail over to the standby database, you have to convert the snapshot standby database back to the physical standby database. When you create a snapshot standby database, Oracle will automatically create a guaranteed restored point, GRP. Snapshot standby databases are good for scenarios where you need a temporary updatable replica of the primary database, such as quality assurance and testing operations. After you finish your testing on the snapshot standby database, you can restore it back to the GRP and convert it back to the physical standby database. Luckily, creating a snapshot standby database is part of the enterprise license you don't purchase a separate license for it. In the next slide, I will show you a scenario of using the snapshot standby database. The scenario assumes that we have a production system and some changes are required on this system. We want to test the impact of the proposed change on the performance of our system. Let's see how the standby database would help us on such a scenario. The scenario assumes that we have a production system with a primary database and a physical standby database. You as a DBA has received a request to make some changes on this system. You want to test how this change may affect the performance of the system. During a normal workload, use a testing solution like the Oracle Real Application Testing to gather the workload from the production system. On the standby database system side, create a snapshot standby database. Apply the workload on the snapshot standby database and gather the performance statistics. Implement the proposed changes on the standby database system. Apply the workload on the snapshot standby database and gather the performance statistics. Study the impact of the change by comparing between the performance statistics gathered before and after implementing the changes. With this scenario, you utilized the physical standby database by using it for testing operations without having to take the risk of implementing the changes on a production system. Creating a snapshot standby database is quite easy. Stop the apply process if it is running. Mount the database and run a simple single statement. If you are using the SQL Plus, execute the statement Alter Database Convert to Snapshot Standby. 
if you are using the broker, run the command convert database to snapshot standby. After that, open the database for read write operations. Once you create the snapshot standby database, you use it as if you were connected to any normal Oracle database. You can perform any DML or DDL operations on its objects. When you are done with the snapshot standby database, you convert it back to the physical standby database. To do that, you first mount the database and then run a single command. If you are using the SQL plus, run the statement alter database convert to physical standby. If you are using the broker, run the command convert database to physical standby. In conclusion, snapshot standby database can be used to test the impact of changes on a production system. On the other hand, it will influence your recovery time objective or RTO. In this lecture, I explained how to do the following. Describe the snapshot standby databases and their benefits. Convert a physical standby into a snapshot standby database. Use a snapshot standby database. And convert a snapshot standby database back to a physical standby database. The next lecture is a practice lecture. You will have some hands-on experience on managing the active data guard and the snapshot standby databases. Till seeing you over there, bye for now.